Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick fun comparison video between uh, Fedora 36 on the left hand side here, XFC edition, then Fedora 36 in the middle here, the GNOME desktop environment edition or GNOME, and then Fedora 36 on the right hand side here, the KDE Plasma desktop environment edition here. So this is just a really simple quick look at, at the, the similarities and the differences between the three here. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just going to be mostly riffing and seeing how I go. But basically, let's start off. So on the left hand side here, we've got the typically known to be the midweight uh, XFCE desktop environment. A little bit simplified the way that it is. You've got this uh, little start menu here and you've got your categorization of options for, for apps. And then in the middle, we've got the GNOME or GNOME desktop environment here uh, where the apps draw is a little bit different. So it's up here and we, we, we've got the ability to type in basically the app that we want, which is unfortunate that we don't have that on the XFCE side of things. Then last but not least is the illustrious or, or much much loved um, uh, KDE Plasma desktop environment. So you could really say a combination of the two, the XFCE, uh, the categorization of the options and the search menu here and it looks quite nice. Got a lot of options and you can see the applications and the places. Probably most loved of the three uh, in my opinion there. Now if we just uh, clear it up a bit, we can see that it's all Fedora 36 where it just happens to be using the, uh, the, the same wallpapers of course there. We do have the sort of the taskbar menu with the clocks and things on each and every one of these. Uh, pretty much much of a muchness, they've just gone about it a bit of a different way. Uh, GNOME in the middle seems to be a bit simplified in the way that it chooses to work. In fact, if we just do a bit of a quick right click uh, for the context menu on the on the desktop environment here, we can see that uh, probably KDE Plasma, of course, has the has the most options and options within options, which is quite good. Whereas uh, GNOME actually has the least amount, so we've got the option to change the background, <laughs> display settings and settings. So. Um, that is a bit of a shame because it actually does tend to use the most RAM and we'll find that out in just a moment there. What we'll quickly do is uh, open up the uh, the file managers just to see what's going on here and I'll load up all three. So on the left hand side here, XFCE uses the, uh, the, the Thuna file manager and excuse me for the lack of real estate for this type of video, it's not really well designed for any uh, aspect ratio format this type of video so there's just no way around it but except for squeezing in these windows here. Now in a way they look much of a muchness but Thuna file manager really nice and lightweight you can open a terminal there which is good to see. In the middle we've got uh, the uh, the GNOME files or GNOME files file manager I like the look of it there it's uh, although it does look a little bit simple in fact, the right-click menu is even a bit more simplified there again. And then on the right-hand side, we've got the Dolphin File Manager, which again is the de facto standard for any KDE Plasma desktop environment with lots and lots of options there. But hey, as long as you can open Terminal, in fact, yep, great, we can do that for all three. But uh, again, nothing really to write home about here. Much of a muchness for most of them. They're all using the same basic blue and white color theme there. Uh, perhaps we can jump into the back end here and see what's going on for, for these guys here. So we'll have a look at the, the back end specs. So oh, let's see if I can uh, properly open that one. And uh, let's see, just clean it up for you guys here. I do apologize again, but they are running all on the 5.17 kernel, as you'd expect. So the latest and greatest kernel, which is what Fedora is all about. So really assistive for supporting uh, a lot of new tools, a lot of new hardware as well, like CPU, GPUs, Wi-Fi cards, all sorts of hardware. So great if you've got a, a latest and greatest laptop, that sort of thing there, hardware for certain. Uh, as mentioned, we've got the, the desktop environment so XFCE 4.16 on the left, GNOME in the middle version 42 and uh, the KDE Plasma desktop environment 5.24 on the right hand side. These are all pretty much the latest releases for the, the desktop environment version in. Again Fedora is the, uh, the, the, the bleeding edge when it comes to Linux for the most part and uh, a little bit of a back, background story for Fedora is it is actually what's what's called the upstream for what will one day become the Red Hat Enterprise Linux that's used in a lot of uh, enterprise environments. Uh, last but not least, let's take a little bit of a, uh, well, a grain of salt, pinch of a look at uh, the hardware usage on boot up. So on the left hand side here, Fedora XFCE running about 450 megabytes of RAM on boot up. 
Uh, Gnome is running about 600 megabytes of RAM on boot up, and KDE Plasma is running about 500 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So, sort of in the middle there, the KDE, and it is probably considered to be the most customizable, uh, customizable if I can say that, the most usable, the most options, uh, most people uh, prefer that one. But if you've got a, a lightweight, or sorry, I should say a, a, an older desktop or laptop, older hardware, then you're probably looking at the XFCE variant. As basic as it is, I'm not the biggest fan, but if you can push the, the limits a little bit, perhaps go the XFC variant for sure. Uh, sorry, the KDE Plasma on the right. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, a bit of a quick, fun video, a bit of an unusual one. I try to smash it all onto the screen. I've got one screen and three operating systems. It's not the easiest. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.